So, making a video about our oil leak. So, we noticed a stain in the carpet, and then we noticed this little drip coming from here all the way up to here. So, it's been le leaking hydraulic fluid, which is this hydraulic steering. And we couldn't understand where it was coming from and why it was coming out when we weren't driving. Because this system has a container down below that is under pressure. You pressurize it like uh, 35, 40 PSI. So it keeps the fluid pumped up to the helm. Uh, you don't have a reservoir up here that you fill and gravity doesn't bring it down. It gets pushed up. So there was pressure on this thing pushing the oil out of here and I'm guessing down in here and way up in there is the unit I got to get to. And it's getting to the point where it has to be done. So I'm taking off the steering wheel. I got to take off these. Then I got to crawl in that hole, believe it or not, to get to the back of this to take the pump out. We realized it was a must-do job because we started getting an, a little oil leak here running along to here. That's when we realized, all right, yeah, this is, uh, this is serious. We gotta get this thing fixed. So the previous owner had a set of seals and directions so o-rings directions on how to take the pump apart and where to put the the new seals so we're going to give this a try by the way this is a hydnotic h20 square kind that's what we're going to try to work on three-quarter inch I guess I gotta get a tappity tap. Hmm, one of the studs actually came out. Well, there it goes. It just went down there. Now we gotta go get it. There it is. Huh. Now I gotta get it out of there. And get it disconnected. Okay, I got the pump. I gotta remove those three hoses because I gotta get the pump out to get that plate off. And I think that's where it's leaking us this seal right here. Right here, right there. So this job is a real pain because that. Oops, uh, I guess my battery's going dead. That job right there is that little hole and it's no bueno. Not for somebody my size. So I think I found the problem. This O-ring here is leaking. It's out of shape, it's not round. But the problem is I need snap ring pliers. I don't think I can get that off without a snap or a snap ring wrench or pliers. That's a trip to Harbor Freight. <coughs> Dolphins. <coughs> well, we fabricated snap ring pliers with this little pair of needle nose. So I notched them with my Leatherman the file put those little notches in them and I was able to grab the snap ring and then I put a big screwdriver in the middle and used the screwdriver to twist and it was not well it took a while but we got it done okay I got the internal shaft seal on 
this external shaft seal. Got it put back together, buttoned up. I'm gonna go uh, try to get it uh, put in. The only thing I'm worried about is on this shaft inside, there's a little groove rubbed from just years. This is a 1985, 86, 87 part. So over the years, it's rubbed a little groove on the on the shaft, and I don't know if that groove will cause the oil to leak, but I'm hoping the seal will stop it up. If not, I need a new shaft. Just for the sympathy vote, Michelle's at a bridal shower. Stella's sleeping. And I gotta go in this hole. Hey, and behind the helm, there's the hole. I don't know if you can see it. That's where this has to go. But first I gotta get these three hoses connected. Port has one stripe. Starboard has two stripes and the return is the middle one. Okay. Okay, I got the lines put back on. I'm gonna go get a fresh white mat, fill it with fluid down below, pump it up to pressure, bleed this to get the air out and see if it leaks. Okay, have about a half a quart of that. We'll see if that will work. It's that there. Well, I came down to put fluid in, but I guess when I loosen those lines up top, all the fluid drained down from up top because I was down here and you can see it's almost full so I'm gonna put the oops whoops I'm gonna put the screw back in there and pump it up to 40 psi and that should lower that down probably to there then I'll bleed it up top well before I can put this back that o-ring is shot it is all busted up so that's no bueno see it right there so I got to get a new o-ring there's the o-ring that's not good I had some o-rings but I didn't but I found a garden hose washer I'm gonna try that if not I'll go to the store I'm gonna meet Jennifer and Jarek and Trevin go to lunch maybe then give me a ride to the hardware store I'll get some o-rings but I'm gonna try this garden washer Okay, I got it screwed on, kind of. I don't know if I go too much tighter, it'll squeeze out. Now I put a, a bicycle pump on there and pump it up to 40 PSI. Nine, 10, 60 times upper and lower and autopilot. This is the hardest part of the whole job is bleeding them. So I got the wheel back on. Jerk crawled in there, grabbed it and pushed it through and I was able to grab it, put the bolts in. Hopefully then it's done.